for the most part. <laughs> I've had some bad luck lately. I got pulled over the other day for reckless driving. My girlfriend and I went away from a party, and we might have been a little drunk. <laughs> We're playing it cool as the cops walking up. He says to me, son, I pulled you over for making a U-turn, and a U-turn. Well, I looked up at him and said, officer, oh, that wasn't a U-turn. It was two consecutive L-shaped turns. <laughs> he looks at me and says, all right, moron, get your fat ass out of the car. Well, I looked at him and said, officer, oh, what's she have to do with this? <laughs> Decided, I'm going to read up on a life insurance policy. And naturally, if you die, you collect the full amount. But you know if you lose a hand, or a foot, or an eye, you can get half? And if you lose any combination of the three, that entitles you to the full amount. That tells me if I'm going to lose a hand, I'm going to poke out an eye. And the insurance company even specifies just what exactly is losing a hand. They say loss of a hand actual severance at or above the wrist. Now you better believe, some happens to me, and I've got a quarter inch of nub left, I'm going to be out of the curb scrubbing to my wrist. <laughs> and come to think of it, being handicapped doesn't sound that bad. You always going to get a good parking spot at the mall. I was at the mall yesterday, saw two women go in the same dressing room. Now, supposedly, you guys tell each other how the outfits look while you're in there. <laughs> you know you'll never see two men go in the same dressing room? Can't even imagine taking my father in with me and saying, Hey, Dad, these jeans hit my ass real fast. <laughs> well, I was on campus and saw a guy in a wheelchair pacing back and forth. <laughs> the worst part was, he had purposely stuck a soda can on his tire to make it sound like a dirt bike engine. <laughs> That's bizarre, but I give him credit. The wheelchair was always really clean. He had the chrome polish, the armor off sprayed on the tires, it was lowered. <laughs> I was thinking he had a bra on the front of it. I hated that guy though. He thought he was so cool. I'd be on campus see him leading around, riding to the side and everything. I got some sad news. Just found out my dad has Alzheimer's. I got some sad news. I take him to a research clinic to get tested, and there were two other men getting tested at the same time. So the researcher comes out and asks the first guy, it was three times three. The man thought for a minute and says, 127. He goes to the second man and asks him, was three times three. The old man thinks and says, Thursday. Come to my father. Mr. Habel, what's three times three? Dad thought for a minute and said, nine. The researcher was impressed and said, Mr. Habel, how'd you get that answer? Dad says, simple. Subtracted 127 from Thursday. <laughs> Time. During halftime, went to go to the bathroom. I heard him bitching up a storm. I was like, damn, what's going on over there? So he yells over, damn it. I hate when people throw their cigarette butts into the toilet. It makes them incredibly soggy and hard to light. <laughs> I've been concerned about the man for a while. <laughs> You see, when we were younger, well, when I was growing up, we were poor. And they used to make me go to school wearing my sister's hand-me-downs. Yeah, it was embarrassing wearing pink leg warmers and two tops. I got a lot of fights because of it. I even had to fight this handicapped guy one time. Hey, he was asking for it, though. He was making faces at me all day. <laughs> I was 
was thinking this was going to be an easy fight. But have you ever tried to knock out a kid who's wearing a helmet? So, right on the way, but on the knee, I almost kicked my ass. Somehow, I got him in a headlock. And I was able to shift the eye patch. It was bad. I took a good eye, so you couldn't see me. The full Nelson had to put him in a half Nelson. He only had one arm. <laughs> it got crazy. I'm running around, rolling around, put him in the figure four leg lock. You should have heard him start screaming. Because he knew if I bent up his leg braces, his mom would be pissed. <laughs> but the principal was going to suspend him from school. But I had proof he had thrown the first punch. So I stabbed the hook print in the side of my head. <laughs> Thank you, everybody! <laughs>